well. You don't want to miss it in the waste area to the left, that's for sure. But also down the right, you can get a little carried away trying to be too safe there at 16. So I would expect to see this one a little bit more aggressive. And now he's going back to eat some more raw broccoli. <laughs> I like it. Back to the broccoli bag. That's smart, though. You know, keep some fuel in your body. He's been out here a long time today. Missed lunch? There you go. <laughs> I'd get some water to wash that down with, too. What does raw broccoli taste like? It can't be good. Oh, it can't be good. Now, I wouldn't want him talking to me on a very close range. How would you know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. How would I know? I guess the gum had already run its course after after about 19, 20 holes. He's this still gum. got the gum. He puts the gum back in his oh. back by his teeth. Now it's going to come out again. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Chew away. Oh, gum and broccoli doesn't go together. Oh. Well, here we go again. Looks like we got a couple of guys here dying to win a tournament, but no one's going to step up to do it. So, at this particular point, I feel like someone's going to have to make a mistake to let the other guy win. Does, just doesn't look like one of these guys is going to. Take the bull by the horns and go, okay, I'm going to birdie this hole. Let's get out of here. Every time you think that's going to happen, somebody sees a shadow, and then there's six more weeks of winter. <laughs> Groundhog Day again and again. Where's Bill Murray when you need him? <laughs> Fairly good line on this one. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that has a pungent aroma of a waste area. That did not, the wind moved that thing to the left, Gary, I think a little bit more than he anticipated. There's not much wind up here at the greens. I don't know where it came from. That's going to be a difficult shot right there. No, that's evil in there. Yeah, it's the wrong length. I did see Davis Love from that particular area get the ball about six feet, which is impossible. Yeah! Oh, wait a minute, this one's going right again. Well, not too far, right? Got Caught a little tree. We'll be back at the MCI Heritage in just a moment. We're back here in South Carolina at sunset. The fifth hole of the playoff. Stuart Sink, Ted Purdy. And again tonight on CBS, 60 Minutes, Cold Case, and the Sunday movie, Along Came a Spider, starring Morgan Freeman, here on America's Most Watched Network. All pars. Will par win it? Or will someone fire one in there? Make birdie for the win. Sink in the waist area. Pretty on the right side of the fairway. Let's go back out to Gary McCord. Well, we've got the golf carts. We're back there getting recharged. Their batteries, they keep taking them from the 18th back to the 16th. And both golf carts are now out of gas. This poor Bobby right there, Bobby Conlon, used to work in the Champions Tour and seen a lot of a cart. He's struggling. That ball's struggling right there. That's only about 75 yards away. Boy, he's got nothing. Let's see. He's what he's got. Look at nothing but an arid wasteland and then flag. So he's got 74 yards of a Bedouin experience and then uh, one yard of... Uh, grass to hit it on difficult and you got to come out of there low because you got to kind of pinch the ball to get good contact so it's just it's not a good spot well you you can check it up gary the good things are he has no tree trouble he has a very good lie for being in the waste area and he's six foot four five whatever he is so he can hit down steeply on it after that things look not so good again we saw davis love hit the ball real close from there so i can be done i haven't seen uh any ball from that waist area get within 20, 25 feet, other than Davis. Yes, those shadows are getting longer and longer. Okay, Ted Purdy, he has 122 yards to the front, four more to the flag, and if he's going to go right at this flag, he's going to go very close to the edge of this big tree on the left. Just hanging right on the edge of the flag stick, isn't it? So he's yep. going to try to hook this ball in just a little bit. He's got a pitching wedge, and he'd love to be just a couple of feet closer to the hole, get it on the fairway. Set up right at it. It's an aggressive swing there. A little Line left. All the way, and some more. Wow. David, he flew that pitching wedge right at about 140. Oh, he can't see around the corner to the flags behind the bleachers at the 17th, but it's pretty hard downwind there from the left. Now the wind does pick up. 
You see it right there, waving at him. That is a waste area, so you can kind of move things around. You can put your bag down there. You can have a picnic. You can bring your kids out, get a shovel, do anything you want. Tree come I out think it's the, the tree on the left. Huh? The tree on the left? Does it come out past the flag? Three main. You can Maybe move this and cut the flag. Oh, this one right here? The, the tree uh, there. Pine tree. Maybe on the edge. Okay. I think you go right at that. I think well, it's I know, but I just need to know where that tree is as yeah. far as the side of the Yeah. I think I can see it. From your angle. About that tower by the yeah. See the two palms behind me? It's not that far right okay. I think it's best. All right. See the best? Yeah. He is looking directly oh, yeah, into the sun. That's why all the questions. Mm -hmm. And I would think, Gary, 75 yards, he has to take this a little bit right in the hole and make an aggressive swing and make clean contact. He does not want to leave this in the waste area up near the green. Another six footer for the win. We'll be right back with more golf action from the MCI Heritage after this word from your local station. Stuart Sink, we're on the fifth hole of the playoff. A bunch of pars, a bunch of escaped opportunities, especially for Stuart Sink. On 18, he was looking right down at about a six footer. 15 minutes ago, missed that, pushed it to the right. He has about the same length putt here for the win. Ted Purdy launched this over the green. It's got a lot of green here, pretty good lie. Yeah, it's about as straightforward a chip as you're going to get around this green, and the way things are going right now, I think he holds this. And then Sink makes his. That would be a heck of a call. Yeah. Well, got that one a little skanky. Ball is going to roll. He's going to be first to putt. Stewart's trying to focus, saying, okay, he's going to make this. So, anyway, here was his shot. Just carries. He had to carry it 74 yards. Boom, right there. Right on the number. I mean, he hit that right on the number from that waist area. Got away with one there. Maybe this will be it. <laughs> 